Hey everybody, it's Cara Santa Maria for America's Greatest Makers, here with an intro to Maker Tech. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm bringing you an introduction to the wide world of sensors. Sensors are important because they help us interact easier and more directly with the world around us and the tech we use. And they're everywhere, in our smartphones, our cars, the lights in our homes, you name it, and it probably has a sensor in it. A sensor is a device that detects or measures a physical property and records, indicates, or otherwise responds to it. So basically, a sensor takes our real world senses and puts them into practical applications. When we think of sensors, typically it's of the high tech variety. But the truth is, sensors have been around for some time. In fact, the first device we might define as a sensor was invented way back in 1883 by Warren Johnson. Nice mustache, Warren. Very hipster. The device patented by Johnson more or less measured the temperature of a room. 12 years later, Johnson's creation featured a pneumatic device that could regulate heating systems. He called it an electric telethermoscope. Today we call it a thermostat. So what types of sensors are you likely to come across on a daily basis? In a hat tip to Johnson, this is a temperature sensor module. You'll find these in your thermostat at home. And this is a light sensor module. This little guy reacts to light or a lack thereof, just like the nightlight in our intro to prototyping video. When the lights go out, the nightlight comes on. Check out that video if you haven't already. And this is a motion sensor. Ever walk into a room and all the lights magically come on? As much as we'd like to think it's because of our natural charm, it's really because one of these guys is making it happen. Those are just a few of the many different types of sensors operating today. Now, when you're trying to figure out which sensor best suits a project you're working on, there are a few things you'll want to consider, like accuracy. How well does the sensor measure, record, or adjust to an event? Is it sensitive enough for your project? Then there's the environmental conditions you'll be using it in. Sensors usually have limits with regards to things like temperature and humidity. There's also range. Be sure to find out the limit of the sensor you're considering. A flying drone will need a more powerful sensor than, say, something that sits on your desk. And don't forget calibration. This is crucial for measuring devices. Like a scale, it needs to be set accurately to record data properly. And then there's resolution. It's important to know the smallest increment detected by the sensor. Finally, there's cost. That one's pretty self-explanatory, especially for those of us who have to make on a budget. So there you have it, an introduction to the fascinating world of sensors. I sense you're getting excited to start a project of your own. To learn how to use all this cool stuff, be sure to check out our beginner maker project on sensors right here at americasgreatestmakers.com. And a big thanks to my how-to home, Urban Workshop. I'm Kara Santa Maria. What will you make?